Namaste and a happy morning to all the viewers of our DRNKBV channel. Today, 8th February 2022, being Bhishma Ashtami, let us all get enlightened about it. Bhishma was the 8th son of Goddess Ganga and the King Shantanu, whose original name was Devabrata, which was given at the time of his birth. To make his father happy and for his sake, Devabrata pursued celibacy for lifelong. Devabrata was primarily nurtured by Ma Ganga and was later sent to Maharishi Parshuram for attaining Shastra Vidya. He acquired great fighting skills and learnings under the guidance of Shukracharya and became invincible. After completing his education, Goddess Ganga brought Devavrata to his father, King Shantanu, and then he was declared as the Prince of Hasinapur. After few years, Devavrata gave away his kingship and took a vow to remain a bachelor throughout his life. Because of such resolution and sacrifice, Devavrata was revered by the name Bhishma, and his pledge was called as Bhishma Pratinya. Seeing all this, King Shantanu was very much pleased with Bhishma and thus he bestowed him with a boon of Icha Mrityu, that is, to die only when he himself wished to die. During his lifetime, Bhishma gained huge respect and recognition as Bhishma Pitamaha. In the battle of Mahabharata, he stood along with Gauravas and supported them all through. Bhishma Bhitamaha had taken a pledge to not fight with Chikandi and not wield any sort of weapon against him. King Arjuna attacked Bhishma by standing behind Chikandi and therefore Bhishma got injured and fell down on the bed of arrows. It is believed that the one who leave his body on the auspicious day of Uttrayan attained moksha. Thus, he waited for a number of days on the bed of arrows and finally left his body on the day of Uttrayan, which is now celebrated as Bhishmashtami. On this particular day, the devotees practice tarpan on the banks of holy rivers, which is called as Bhishmashtami Tarpanam. The ritual is done in the name of Bhishma Pitamaha and the ancestors of the observer for the peace of their souls. A holy bath is another important ritual which is performed by the devotees on this day. Taking a dip in the sacred rivers is considered highly auspicious. Observers are required to offer sesame seeds and boiled rice in the sacred river. The devotees also observe a fast of Bhishmashtami in order to pay tribute to Bhishma Pitamaha where they also take a sankalp, perform argyam and recite Bhishmashtami mantra. Some of his great teachings are, Dharma should always come first. All tasks and work should be complete as the incomplete work denotes negativity. Avoid getting attached to things and people. Learn to get free from anger and forgive people to attain peace. Work hard, protect all and be compassionate. On this significant day, let us rejuvenate and cleanse our souls by following the great words of Bhishma Pitama. राम राम रामे दे रमे रामे मनोरमे सहस्रनाम